I don't know whether you saw my video this week where the driving instructor got reported by the cyclist for being too close. They were too close, but I said I didn't think it was dangerous. Let's dig a little deeper. This happened just outside Sheffield on Abbeydale Road which is the A621 and we had a body cam as well as a helmet cam to look at and as normal people were duped by the distorted camera angles. Just for example, my viewer's phone's nearly as big as that Jaguar. I did put a link in the comments section about a previous video I've made on this subject about distortion, but people were still being stubborn, hence the need for this video. So let's find out exactly how much space we were dealing with here. Because we know what car passed, it's a 2014 Toyota Yaris, and they're about 1700mm wide, or 1.7m if you struggle with that. So here we are on Google Maps. And luckily enough, there's a car parked in a similar spot to the Jaguar. This is never going to be really accurate, but it'll give us an idea. So, I measured the distance from here to here. And as you can see, we've got the best part of 4 metres. We know the Yaris is 1.7 metres, so if the Yaris was really close to the centre line, that leaves 2.3 metres of space, but I don't think they were. But it is at this point that the learner starts to veer to the left, and that's because they can't see the cyclist in the front window anymore. And this is really common. You can even see that the drive instructor's got their arms folded, which actually isn't good either. I would like to reiterate at this point that there's no way that this instructor should have let the learner go past at this gap. It was definitely closer than 1.5 metres, but I think it was probably nearer to 1. But it got closer to that with the mistake. And if I pause the clip here, we can see approximately where the car was positioned after they'd moved left in relation to the centre line. The last thing I'd like to deal with is, in the comments people were mentioning, my viewer was a little close to this Jaguar. Again, people were duped by the distorted images. This section of road up by the bus stop is 4.7 metres wide. That means this Jaguar is approximately 70 centimetres further out than the kerb. This yellow marking is one metre long. The space is also one metre long. And this yellow marking is also one metre long. So if the Jaguar is positioned about this far out, my viewer should be about here when they ride over these markings. And as you can see, they were about in that position. This is also a useful freeze frame to show how close the car got when it did come back to the left. If we go off the fact that the yellow markings and the spaces are a metre wide, the left hand side front wheel of the car is in a similar position to my viewer's wheels. That means they're a metre apart, but don't forget we've got to account for the handlebars as well, which are approximately 30 centimetres. So this car, at its closest point, was approximately 70 centimetres, or half the distance it should have been. All the further calculations that I've done in this video back up my assessment that the learner vehicle should have been in the other lane to overtake at this point. Driving instructors need to do a much better job and not just react when things get a little more risky. Have a great weekend everyone, I'll see you soon.